Hey everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. This is my second time coming live today and I have a super cute, practically free project to show you. Are you ready? It involves some sheet music. This sheet music right here oops, uh, was some that I just picked up at my local Goodwill. Let me get these out of the way. We'll be using these in the next week to make tassels. Uh, but anyways, it's gonna involve some sheet music. It's going to involve some glitter and some Eileen's Techie Glue, um, a few stencils, some twine, and that's pretty much it. And here it is behind me. I'm gonna move out of the way. Okay, let me unhook it. This, oops, I'm sorry, Molly. We have um, people here doing work, uh, replacing the wood on our stairs and upstairs, and so, it is loud here and crazy, and my poor little pup is uh, nervous and upset. Okay, so this says home, and it has glitter around the edges, and I added a few little wood beads. So this is what we're gonna be making, and you can take this idea and make a thousand different kinds of things. Different size, different colors, you can use whatever kind of paper you want, um, you can uh, use glitter in whatever color you like or no glitter. It's just completely up to you. So let me put my little phone down here just a second. And as you are hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm going to start out here by removing some sheets of sheet music out of my little book. And I'm just using a uh, what do you call these? One of these, um, I can't think of the word. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a stressful day. Uh, anyways, so I'm just cutting a couple pieces out and then I'll show you the next step. Now, if I, um, was going to do a whole banner, I would take about 10 or 15 pages out and do it all at the same time but we're just gonna be doing one little thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to fold my music in half. And this is important because when you fold it in half, it makes it much easier to cut, it makes it much easier to punch the holes, and it makes your little um, banner pieces stand up straighter when you hang them wherever you're gonna put them. So, so I just folded it in half. Oops. Oh, come on. <laughs> Unruly. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then I'm going to use one of these that I was working on earlier as a pattern. And I'm just going to, uh, you want to pick a page that is pretty full of music notes and that doesn't have something written in the middle of it, okay? And you can probably get two, uh, so this is two pages and you can probably get two on each piece of paper. So I'm going to just trace my little pattern with the pencil. Oops. And if there's lines when I'm done, I can just erase those, no problem. I'm even gonna trace where I put my hole. I made these last year. Oh my gosh, they were so cute. I made one with some really, really big letters and um, everything I'm using today, I mean, uh, stencil wise, is from Magnolia. I'm just gonna see if I can quickly put a link here so you guys can go look if you want easy. I swear, this does not like my thumb. There we go. Um, okay, where's the hole? Trace the top. Uh, I made some some um, 
banners that were, had really big letters and you could totally do that with the um, the letters that are part of the um, porch sitter set. But we're gonna use a little bit smaller ones today. Okay, I need to see what I'm doing. I'm just going to cut these out. And this is just the size that I wanted for what I was doing, but you can make these absolutely whatever size you want. See, this is what you get. And why just cut one when you can do uh, two at a time? Okay, where does this go? Here we go. Can you guys hear all the, the um, hammering and nail gun shooting going on? I hope not. Okay, and did I show, do where, okay, I didn't do where the hole is, so I'm just gonna guess. Okay, so now what we have, what do you guys think about this so far? Wow, there's a good amount of people on. Thank you for joining me. These are my kind of projects. I love projects that are quick. And I made this banner in about 20 minutes. I love projects that are super affordable. And really, once you have your stencils and a little chalk paste, which you can reuse over and over and over, once you get some glitter from Walmart, some tacky glue that you can use over and over and over, um, and a paintbrush, um, then really the only cost for this project is the cost of your sheet music. And my sheet music, all of it that I've found over the last two years has been from my local Goodwill. Um, so you can use any kind of sheet music that you like. Like I said, it could also be scrapbook paper, it could be a book, book pages, um, but it could be xylophone music, it could be marching band music, it could be your child's piano lesson music. Um, it can be absolutely whatever, because nobody's paying attention to these notes, they don't know what that even is. Um, they're going to be looking at the decorations. So, okay, so we're, I'm going to show you what the next step is. Let's see, where's my fuzzing cloth? If ever there was a time when fuzzing was important, it's now. And the reason why is because when you use these um, stencils from Magnolia, and I did put a link right, right there, um, they are sticky, super sticky. And if you don't have them fuzzed enough, they can pull up a little bit of your paper or when you're trying to remove them, um, you can end up stretching them a little bit, which isn't the end of the world, but just you don't wanna, uh, wanna have that happen. So we're gonna do this big snowflake, and I'm just gonna, this is my fuzzing cloth. If I didn't have this, I could fuzz it on my shirt or my jeans or a low tack type of, um, like a, a tea towel or something like that, but not a big fuzzy, uh, you know, robe. Or anything like that so I'm just gonna fuzz it like three times at least if it's brand new brand spanking new fuzz it four or five times seriously what are you guys saying here hey Adela from Romania I've been watching you I'm so glad that you're joining us okay so now I'm just the other reason why this fold is so great whoops, is because it tells me exactly where the center is of my piece of paper. So I'm just gonna lay my stencil down and I know exactly where to put it so that it's completely centered. And I'm going this way, but I could go, I could just as easily go the other direction. Okay, so you're gonna get it um, on. And then I'm just going to use black chalk paste, but again, you can, once you have this idea, which that's what my goal always is with um, DIY Dreaming, is for me to give you ideas, things to dream about, and then you create it 
in your own style, in your own colors, for your own house, or for a gift for somebody in their own colors, their own style, you know. Um, add ribbons, don't do glitter, do gold glitter, um, do your stencil in green, absolutely all that stuff. Those are the creative touches that you put on your project. So I'm just showing you the basics. Oops. Oh, darn. Let me get a... <laughs> this is kind of a messy project. I'll just tell you that up front. Especially if you're using black chalk paste. Oh my goodness, can you guys see me sparkling? If you could look at my clothes, you would totally see sparkles everywhere. And uh, my husband is not too fond of that. I'll just tell you that. He doesn't like it when we have sparkles everywhere. Okay, so now I'm gonna dip my squeegee again and we're literally, with paper especially, you don't want to use too much medium. The medium is the chalk paste. And also you want to not go over it too many times because it's like fabric. It will absorb your medium and spread it out in the fibers. So I'm just doing a real quick pass and then I'm going to remove my stencil carefully. And voila, it's perfect. Let me throw this over in my little bath. And I'm gonna towel. So that's how you make the, and this, um, oh my gosh, there's the, let me show you. There is the cutest set of stencils that I've used a lot already. Um, and now they have sparkles all over them from Magnolia that are all these snowflakes. So there's that one that comes in it, this one. There's three different sizes. Look how cute that one is, I love it. And then there's the one that we just used. So that is a super cute set. So I would make and we'll look at the banner again in a few minutes. Well, I would make two bigger ones, two of the bigger snowflakes for the outside edge, and then something big also or small, whatever you like, for in between the center of the letters. And um, we just used home. Let me set this aside so I don't ruin it. Um, and these are from the Scrabble tile set, which is so cute, but you don't have to do it as if it is a, um, a Scrabble project. In other words, these have like that how many points each letter has on them. They're really cute. But I didn't put the four or the one. What is? Or the one for E or the three for M. I just laid these down and stenciled H O M E. Um, same process exactly. Um, okay, so. Let's play with this one that I did a little while ago. Um, and you can imagine that you've done, oh, this was one where I did with two. Let's play with this one, because this is cute. Put this guy aside. And I'll hang on to these, because I know I'll be doing more banners for sure. Okay, so once you have your stencil and it's dried, which took me at about, 40 minutes or an hour to have these be dry enough to really handle them. And you, you are gonna want to really be able to handle them. Then the next step is the glitter. And um, this is the glitter that I love. It's called Sulin Extra Fine Glitter Sterling, non-toxic. It came from Walmart. It's in the craft section. It was around four or five dollars. And I'll show you my trick for putting your glitter back in the little container so it will last you forever, okay? So I'm just gonna take a paper plate because that's the easiest thing. And I need a little bit of my tacky glue, but if you have a glue that you like better, use what you have. If you have Elmer's glue, uh, clear glue, white school glue, uh, it, I mean, whatever kind of glue you like. This is a little thick, but this is what I had. So I put a blob of it in my bowl. Dang, I'm sticky again. <laughs> I 
I know it's not fun to watch me keep washing my hands. Okay, so I put a blob of the glue in this little paper bowl and I'm gonna add some water to it because it is a little bit too thick to work with. And I'm just gonna take a brush and stir that up. Get some of it on the end of my brush and then you can decide where do you want your sparkles? Um, last year on quite a few of the banners that I made, I just did right here on these little points and across the top. But on this one, I decided to do all the way around it. So let's do this one, just the top and the bottom, and then I'll hold them up together so that you can see the difference. What are you guys saying? Tell me in the comments if you think that this is something that you would do. And, um, or if you have made paper banners before, my hair's doing something funny. Um, there's lots of places that you can put them. They don't just have to go on a fireplace. They can go across a piece of furniture, just across a mirror on your wall. Um, so don't think just if you don't have a fireplace that you have no reason to make these because you do. <laughs> and you can use whatever paper you might have handy. So I'm just putting a generous amount of glue and I'll hold it up for you in just a second so you can see. On that bottom little point, and I like the rough look, so I don't try to have my lines be perfectly straight or anything. This is what it looks like. All right, and then I'm gonna take my glitter paper plate. This is the one I've been glittering with this year. And my little thing of glitter, and I'm just gonna pour it out. I feel like this is up too high. I'm just pouring it out on my project, on the spots where uh, I put the glue. Okay, now don't think Oh my word, she wasted so much glitter. Why did she use so much? I just like to put it on thick and then I will just pick it up and tap it off and voila, that is what you get. See how the lines are not perfectly straight? There's, there's blobs here and there. I think that's what gives it a lot of charm and makes it feel vintage to me. Okay, now I what am I gonna do with all this glitter here? Well, here's my trick because I am frugal and I like to reuse and repurpose and use what I have whenever possible. So I don't wanna waste any of this awesome glitter. So I'm just gonna fold my paper plate in half. Let's see, how can I do this so that you can see? And I'm just tapping it and it's sort of going down the center back into my little thing. And it would be okay to throw away your paper plate when you're all done, because there'll just be a little bit of glitter on it. And your, your glitter um, container is almost completely still full. Okay, let's see, what else should I tell you? So, I added, um, let's throw this in the tub of water. I added some of these little black beads that I had on hand, and we used where did I put, oh, we used this. I swear, I wish I had um, stock in Walmart because, and you guys must think that I love Walmart, which I do. I love their craft department. Um, anyways, I'm, it feels like every day I'm telling you guys you need this. This is called Natural Polished Hemp. It's in the Walmart uh, jewelry making section by all the beads and stuff. And in my store, it's um, down on a lower shelf, but right near all the stuff that you would use for making jewelry. And what I love about it is how it's smooth. So it's easy to get it to go into, um, into your beads. Uh, so I just pulled out how long I thought it was. I had already punched holes in my little pieces and when they were dry, I just threaded them one by one onto it. And that was pretty much it. So let me grab it 
and we'll look at it one more time. And then if you guys have questions, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you want to make sure that you see all the fun stuff that I have coming up this week and Christ and Crafting this Sunday, then um, there's a couple things you can do. Make sure that you've liked and followed DIY Dreaming. You may have thought that you did, but you may not have. And you're less likely to get served my content if you haven't liked and followed DIY Dreaming. The other thing is say something silly in the comments or give me a, a thumbs up or a little heart or something off to the side. When Facebook sees that engagement, they say, oh, those people liked what they saw. Oh, look at all those hearts, you guys are awesome. They say, oh, those people liked all what they saw. When when this person goes live again, we'll serve that that them that the new content. So that's basically how algorithms work. I am no uh, technical genius, but that is my very rudimentary understanding. So the more you engage is what they call it with me here at DIY Dreaming. However you want to do it, um, the more likely it is that you'll get served my content. And I have some fun stuff coming up you won't want to miss. Okay, these are going to be all sliding all over. Uh, I could actually um, do a little dab of glue on the back of each piece. That might be a really good idea with my hot glue gun to um, make them not slide around. Okay, so here's the start of the banner. Right here the start we'll go through each piece of it okay I started with a big snowflake and then the letter H and then a another bead and you can see how the um, fold makes some like have some dimension I really really recommend that and then in the middle home has four letters so after the first two we're gonna do something in the center and this is what we put in the center. Uh, even prettier, big snowflake. And then next to that are the last two letters of home. And I just spelled that. You could spell Thanksgiving or give thanks or a whole phrase, whatever you want. I was just looking to do something kind of quick so that I could get on here and show you guys. So there's the M. And then I put, oh, I've, yeah. The E, I thought I forgot my E, M E. Okay, and then at the end of my banner, right next to my E, I have um, a bead and another pretty snowflake. So what you need for this project, you need some sheet music, a book page, some scrapbook paper, some craft paper, Whatever kind of paper you want. Sheet music is fun to do. And maybe you noticed that this sheet, let me just talk about that for a second. There's all different colors of sheet music. Sometimes you're gonna find it, uh, and this is for an upcoming project, and it's really white. And sometimes this is not sheet music, but I just am pulling it out so you can see. You're gonna find it and it's more yellow. And that's just personal preference. Uh, I say if you're at your thrift store and you find music of any sort, clarinet music, whatever, grab it. Whether it's white or creamy or yellowy color. Um, so you'll need sheet music. That's the first ingredient. You're gonna need some glue. Can be whatever you want. Um, you're gonna need some glitter if you're gonna do this in the same style. Um, and you can get glitter everywhere. Uh, Walmart has a ton of different colors. I do like this super fine. Even if you pick like hot pink, um, the super fine is really smaller pieces. I think it looks better. You'll need some chalk paste in whatever color you choose. Um, I, I just am doing black because I think that looks really classic, but I want you to make this for your house. And then you'll need some stencils. And for this project, I just used these cute little snowflakes. 
and then I used the letters from the Scrabble tile. They were the perfect size. And I did not do the little number uh, values for each letter. What else do you need? A squeegee. Oh, some twine, also Walmart. And that's pretty much it. Let me put on my glasses so I can see what you guys are saying. Oh, there must be something not good happening because I'm. I see somebody saying so sorry for your loss. I'm sorry. I will get off um, as soon as I'm done here. I read every single comment. Um, I try, you guys. This is funny. I try to engage with you guys. I, if you took time to give me a thumbs up or to say something, I want you to know that I read it. So I try to at least like that every single time. But this is funny. Facebook has a certain number of me being able to like back comments. And when there's like 900 comments, once I reach the end of that, it won't let me do any more. So if you, if you said something that you thought, well, she didn't even like what I said. It's not because I didn't read it or didn't like it. It's most likely because I had used too many and Facebook stopped me dead in my tracks and wouldn't let me do any more. Um, but uh, if you want a specific link to Scrabble tiles, snowflakes, or anything else, just let me know. Um, hey, I did want to mention that, the, that Magnolia has a new kit. It's those little mini rolling pins with winter words, and it's like $18.99. So if you're gonna go to my website, which is right here, the bottom, um, take a look at the DIY kits. It's seriously cute. You get everything you need. I think you get either two or three of the rolling pins. There's four words. You get white paint. You get, even get some black and white ribbon, chalk paste, and a squeegee. It's a fabulous deal. So, um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I have, I have so many ideas for things coming up. Um, let me show you. A little sneak peek of something I'm working on. And I know this This is something that um, I've seen other crafters do. I didn't create this idea. These are these little, um, what do they call them? They're not Moroccan. Oh, arabesque, I think. Um, they're tiles, and they come on a mesh. Um, and they come, they look like, oh, gosh, sorry. That scared my dog. She's already scared. They look like this on a, a piece of mesh. So I'm just getting started working on some ornaments and some great words for Christmas are, of course, peace. We need that. And of course, Jesus. And then I'll use a bunch of the other winter words and we'll, we'll doll them up somehow. I haven't quite figured that out. I'll figure out a good way to hang them. And um, so that is just one of, oh, another thing I'm doing is those little coasters that look like this. We used the Scrabble tile stencils on these earlier to make a sign that said hope or something. Um, I'm making ornaments out of these too. And that was Susie's idea. So if you guys have ideas, please tell me. Uh, and then, oh my gosh, I have so many things in the works. One of the, um, one of the followers or, or members over at Dreamy DIY posted these cute little wood blocks that she made with free wood samples from her hardware store. So while I was out doing errands, I ran into mine and grabbed these little um, tile things and I found some of those. So that is a project that we'll be, we'll be making something fun out of that too. So if you guys have ideas, please let me know what they are, what you would like to do. And now I will finish yakking. Feel free to sprinkle. Have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and I appreciate you guys. See you tomorrow for just a craft. And then I'll see you hopefully on Sunday for Christ and Crafting. All right. Bye.